Today's episode of Mummy's Boy is sponsored by HelloFresh. Hello what? <laughs> HelloFresh, mum. What's that? You must have heard of HelloFresh. I haven't heard. Oh, God. Hello. Um, Fresh. Hello. Fresh. What's mm. that? Well, mum, it's, well, basically a lifesaver. You know me. I'm not very good at my time management and, that, my, and cooking. D- and this yes. seems to solve both my issues. Does it? Yes. Oh, come on then. How? It's basically, well, it sort of just takes the hassle out of meal planning. I hate planning meals. Yes. So, well, okay. So how does it take out well, the hassle? You get, what do you, you do? You get freshest, the freshest of fresh ingredients straight to your door. I get a little knock and there's a big box. Oh, like is that. There, oh, oh, okay. This is the wonderful, box. healthy goodness. Uh, okay, well, hang on then. Go back a bit. Are there menu plans? There are. Or do you go, oh, I fancy something with prawns? <laughs> <laughs> I could have prawns if I wanted to. Right. You can have basically whatever you want. They've got a website where you pick your meals for the week. Oh. And they've got many, many choices. Do you, is there a recipe to follow? Or is it, look, here's a bunch of Yes, it's, again, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at following Ooh, no. instructions. But no. there are very well written out, step by step instructions i'm yet to screw a meal up which is quite oh, a miraculous crikey. thing they've all okay. ended up quite tasty so you go so there's a website there's a website okay and you you go in and, yeah. and are you are there sort of like veggie and meaty and low fat and yeah you can be <laughs> calorie smart if you've got calorie not a lot of time smart. there's some quick cook options that are like 15 minutes or less vegetarian oh. for all your non-meat eaters out there Oh, that's clever, isn't and it? And family. So when I come home, and you're always asking, you know, what oh. do you want? For, what do you want for your tea? Well, I yes. You can literally it's give very me options. Difficult with you, because you can so literally give me options. Blooming picky. Forty-four of them, to be precise. Forty-four. So you're never bored. Okay, so Arthur, what meals have you been having like this last week, for example? Right. What have I had? Well, you know me, Mum. I love a burger, chips. You Can't do. go wrong with a burger and chips. But normally, True. you know, you think burger and chips, you think unhealthy. But yeah. this one, under six hundred and fifty calories. Whoa. Okay. And it's a go to Jang naked pork burger. Go well, I love to, me some nakedness. Go to oh, look at cha- that. Go to ch- oh, lovely. Oh, go okay. check it out. Am I oh, right? That's yeah, very see? good, Arthur. I'd like one of those. Mm. And, uh, and I, oh, I, I could really cook are... it for you. I could impress you finally with my skills. Well, I can cook you. Blimey, that would be impressive. A naked it? pork burger, whatever you like. I'd like that. <laughs> very, I'd like that very much, Arthur. So uh, tell me about veggie options then. Anything spectacular? Loads of them. And Loads I'm having them, them are by you? the way. Yep. Oh, good. The other day I had a Blimey. butter bean and cavolo nero stew. Oh, yep. she It was one of those yelling. days where it wasn't warm outside, so I treated myself to a nice stew nice. to warm my soul. Yeah, it tastes well, better when you actually make it, I discovered. I'm not used to that feeling. Gosh, well, yeah. no. You I think wouldn't. it'd be good for your little late night wine evenings, aka every night. Uh, rude. Mm. Um, well, it would be. I love a stew, actually. Mm. Okay, so, Arthur, how do I sign up for this? Good question. Oh. And you are in luck because HelloFresh are giving you and all the viewers oh. of Mummy's Boy an exclusive offer to get you started. Are they? They are. Are Incredible they? timing, if you, if I say so myself, well, because you can get sixty percent off your first box Ooh. plus free desserts for life. Free desserts for life. I know. I'm up for that. Who wouldn't be up for desserts well, for I life? Don't know. It's like the best right. sentence I've ever heard. Free desserts for free life. Free desserts for if life. If a man held that out with a sign, I'd jump at him. Um, but <laughs> have a guess what the code is. Free dessert for life. No, Mummy's Six- boy. How? Oh. <laughs> Just head to www.hellofresh.co.uk and place your order now. I will. You can also click the link in the description of this episode or even scan the QR code on screen right now. Oh, gosh, that's complicated. To make ordering your first box as simple as possible. So come on then, are you going to cook some of these amazing meals for me at home sometime? Uh, I was hoping, you know, with your box and free desserts that I would have them at yours. Oh, Arthur. On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, we find out if mum is living her brat summer life. I find out what raw dogging on a flight is. And we discuss finding love in your 20s. Remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and adventurous Mother Lisa. I am adventurous. Say hi. Hi. 
Deep down, I've always been a mummy's boy at heart. And in this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with mum and receive some much needed non-existent advice that only a mother can give. <sighs> but so sometimes rude. my mum needs help too. TikTok, viral videos, celebrities. Mm. These are all things which my poor mum just can't get her head around. Mm. So I'm here to help her before this modern world leaves her behind. Mm. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of youth, but I will also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available <laughs> to all of you as well. Silly boy. So if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for me to read, slide into our DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us a message or even a voice reel to WhatsApp on 07822. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, what? What were you doing? What voice you? reel. What did I say? Voice reel. Did I? You said a voice reel. Yeah. Don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> a voice reel. Did I? Yeah. Oh, dear. Is that like an acting thing? A voice Actually, reel? Yes, it, yeah, that yeah. must be why. Yeah, that'll be it. <laughs> all right. Sod off, all of you. Oh, no. Well, one of those anyway. So, what's up on 07822? <laughs> Oh one three eight three seven. Well, that's a good bloody start, isn't it? And no matter what the issue, oh, calm down. I what? will ask her in a feature I like to call Mum. Can we talk? Welcome back. Thank you. How are we? I don't like that look. What? I'm just excited to no, see you. No, you're not. And chat. Really? In the next hour or so. Excellent. And I was thinking. Okay. You go, you go. I was uh, <laughs> sorry, you go. <laughs> I, I was, was thinking <laughs> Oh God, I really hate it oh. when you're like this. Oh. I was thinking mm. what you said last week that about I never give you any advice. Of and course. that's so not true. I do give you advice and you choose generally yeah. to ignore it. I disagree. Do you? How many times have I told you since you had your phone stolen and you had to replace well, to it? To get a case. To buy you, yeah, to get You've a case. You've not said that to once. Get, oh, the Jack my. Jack just came in and said that and you're, Jack you're did stealing just, that from I him. I am not. <laughs> I've not heard that no. come from your mouth. When we were on holiday up Cornwall, I said to Down. you, you need to get a case for that because mm. you dropped it on the kitchen floor. Yeah. And now yeah. I see... It has got many little it does have scratches. many little scratches, but that is authentic. I also gave you advice about My seeing leg. somebody. I from mean, your on the podcast. Well, and I do, I keep meaning to. It's just like I, I get overwhelmed. Yes, well, you know this. I overwhelmed my foot. Um. Yes. What? What? No, no, no. I just want to. Just was going to ask your advice on something, but were um, you? Were I don't you? Know. Yeah. Oh come on then! Mm. I want to talk. <laughs> I want to talk about a thing that happened yesterday, <laughs> but I we can't clip it because I don't want her to see it. But I had a, a very had a very um, the, for the first time I realised that fame is helping me with girls quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Really? I thought you quite like to hear about it. Not, but it was, it was so like something out of a movie. It's, really? No, no, no. Well, not like not like that, but like. Um, I'd just come from a meeting and then we'd agreed to go for a drink after the meeting. It was right. like, um, it was actually, it was, it was, it was Miriam and Millie. Miriam and Millie. And old agent, new agent. It's like my two mums. Oh, okay. At a meeting. Nice. Anyway, um, they, and I was like, I'll, you talk about business and I'll come and meet you afterwards. And then, so I went and I've never done this before. I swear I've never done this before. I went to have like a solo lunch. Like not like, as long as you go and like get a takeaway or like a fast food, but I went to Bill's in Soho. Right. And I sat outside, but right in front of me, there was a girl who was also like, and the guy was like, oh, table for two. And they're like, no, 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 we're not together. Oh. Um, so we sat on different tables. Oh. But we were facing, she was facing me, but I wasn't facing her we like that. Um, right. And just reading the menu or whatever. And then it, like a, I don't know, a kid comes up to me and it's like, oh man, can I get a picture? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. We've got a picture. Um, and she was like, sorry, sorry, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> really? I like, turned around and I was like, oh, well, I sort of do this and that and this. Oh, that's really cool. Um, and then we were just chatting and then she like invited me over <laughs> to her table. Did she? Um, yeah. And turns, she's, she's from New York. Is she? Um, yeah, she's 
She's um, she's oh. visiting for a while. Arthur, you've gone um, all sort of no, 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 no. I mean, it's nice. And, silly. But, um, and then like two other people came up, and she was like, "Who are you?" And then she fucking oh. listened to my music in front of me. And I was like, "This is so awkward." That's quite scary. Um, but she liked it. Well, um, luckily, or she's a good liar. Um, I know. Yeah, well, that. You know. And well, yeah, so they, is this going to be an ongoing? We don't this, know. We don't know. What, don't we? We don't know. <laughs> well, we'll he's see, gone a we'll bit see, funny, hasn't we'll he? See. He's gone a bit. Well, it's just a bit weird to talk about with you. Um, oh, don't be so ridiculous. We've talked yeah, about such but things we, before. She, you said she wanted to see a show, and I was like, Oh, okay. Um, Book of Mormons, where you go, just like, Oh my god, that's my favourite show. So maybe oh. we'll go see that. Maybe you will. Well, how long is she here for? Don't know. We well, better get a move on. Don't hang about. Yeah, but yeah, that that was just funny. Oh, I was like, wow. That's nice. Fame has helped me massive. I was like, that guy, Fletcher, if you're listening. Fletcher. You're my guy, man. Very cool. Wingman me without even knowing. Oh, um, yeah, that's very nice. So, yeah, that's my story. That Good. I would say. Yeah, I like um, that. And it's almost very brat summer of me. Brat summer? Yeah. What's that? It's, Is that a bit it's like... It's a mindset. F- oh, okay. It's a bit like... What else? Feral girl summer. Yeah. I'm it's, it, is, it is. It is a sort of sub... Subtext of that. Right. Um, it's hot girl summer, really, but it's become brat summer, which I brat. think brat, Brat's which is more, good word, more is it? intense. It's really taken over, taken over this year. Has it? Um, and it's because of an artist called Charlie XCX. XCX. Charlie XCX. Um, How do you spell that? X-C-X. Charlie with an I at the end. Yeah. Like no E at the end. And then XCX. Oh, the, 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 the letters. letters. Yeah, X-C-X. yeah, Charlie XCX. Not- um, and it's like dancey pop and um, dancey for the girls pop. and the gays, I would say. Dancey pop for the girls, girls and the, the gays. gays. Um, and, it's, it. and it's gone crazy. People are Has having it? crazy brat summers, just being feral brats. Um, oh, but brat doesn't sound good. Like oh, we've got an official... Brats are annoying, official, aren't they? No, well, not anymore. Oh. We've got an official definition here. Brat Summer is an aesthetic and a way of life inspired by the Charlie XCX album, Brat. Ah. You know, the one with the iconic lime green cover? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Know it well. That is now absolutely everywhere? Everywhere. On one level, the album is the sonic equivalent of a grimy, sweaty dance floor. It is all deep beats and manic energy, but mm. as many critics have noted, all of this feral party girl energy is laced with a vaguely unsettling dose of millennial anxiety. Because I'm just living that life. Is that how it goes? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. One, of, one of it goes. One of it. Part of it. Oh, I don't like the sound of it. And does he sing like that? That's how no, you she, were singing. She sings very well. Oh, okay. I thought this song was big in Germany. I should get that clip up. What? Nothing. Clap your fucking hands together, Mount Festival! I thought this fucking song was big in Germany! What the fuck are you doing? Oh my um, God. We've got a TikTok to, to sum it up. I actually don't oh, know. Good oh. I'm interested to see what producer Jack has chosen here to show him so my brat I. summer. Brat summer? Yeah. I don't think I'm capable of having a brat summer. I mean, I'm having a it's feral a mindset. girl one. You definitely but... are. The, mm. This clip is, is just Charlie XEX explaining uh, in her own words. Oh, she is. Okay, great. What, there we go. Oh. What brat summer is. Okay. Excellent. Saw you posting about a brat summer. What do you think of the brat summer essentials? Because I saw you on like a speedboat. That's quite yeah. That's brat summer. Mm. It's it can go that way, like kind of like quite like luxury, but yes. it can also be like so like trashy. Uh-huh. Just like a pack of cigs and like a bit lighter. Yes. And right. like a strappy white top. Yeah. With no bra. Yeah. That's like mm. kind of all you need. <laughs> do you know Hang what I mean? On. Yeah. There you go. Brat summer. But Sorry. I'm not joking, like every Instagram dump is being associated with the Charlie X. Can I play a song? Are we allowed to do that? I think I need to channel that in my next TikTok. Um, Except okay. I'm not wearing a white stripy top with no bra. That would be terrifying. No, no one wants no. to see that. No, they really don't. <laughs> okay, right. Um, let's, what's the, Thanks, it's Arthur. probably three. Sorry, yeah. I was joking. <laughs> co- no, they really don't. Here we go. How would you dance to this? How would you feel bratty to this? No. <laughs> Go on. Get bratty, mum. No, I can't. Get bratty. No, I can't. Come on. No. Embrace brat summer. 
No, that's Embrace bright no, summer. No, fuck off. <laughs> well, no, that just looks weird. That's me being bratty. No, keep going. No. Uh, Come on, why do you feel so insecure? It's meant to be the opposite. You're meant to feel empowered. I know, but I'm not empowered. Well, you should, this should, should help. <laughs> when you're in the mirror, do you like what you see? No. Well, you should. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Brat summer achieved. I'd rather have a bit of car wash myself. Oh, for God's sake. It's not That's car wash not summer. Funny. Car wash summer was it in 1978. Yeah, it and came it had out. a much better. No, you're just thing you're, you're being a you're being a fossil right now. I am. You are. Not. You are. You need to embrace that. That is good music. It's very well reviewed by critics all around the world is and it? listeners alike. Is it? I believe Anthony Fantano gave it a ten. Can you believe is that? He? Anthony, Anthony Fantano. Fantano gave it a 10. Sounds like and then he does gives nothing. On he gives dancing. nothing a 10. Doesn't he? And no. here we have Anthony Fantano. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> I reckon. I'm excited for him to review my music. Well, I haven't. He's a very harsh music critic who Is divides he? opinion on that he's. And he likes a bit of Charlie. Ex, what's her name? X. T. No, X. C. T. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. X, Charlie X. C. No, what is it? X C X. X C X. It's mommy's boy. So, Brat Summer, not for you. I thought you would get converted. I'm not going to lie. No, that really you doesn't try do and it take for you me. To a Charlie X. You know, I did actually see her boiler room set. And it was very good. I'm sure, you saw that as well. Boiler room. Yeah, yeah. What? What's a boiler room? A boiler room, room set? is like a. There's like a. I don't know how. Uh, how? What is boiler room? It's like a. How do you explain what boiler room is? I don't know. It's like don't a DJ set that's like very prestigious. Oh, is it? And, but it's like anywhere in the world. If you do like oh, a boiler room set, it's a big moment for a DJ. Oh, and is it? She did one in Ibiza. So she's a DJ as well as being yeah, a yeah, yeah. artist. But she's just a party girl. Is she? 365. Right. <sighs> well, I'm exhausted now. You've got a lot to learn in Brat Summer. I have. Um... See, I don't think maybe you are having a brat summer and you don't well, realize. Well, I think it's I very unlikely. I bet there's unlikely. something you've done this summer that's been brat. Oh, do so you? I, just name some things that you've done. <laughs> the highlights of your summer so far. Um. Oh. That's so brat. <laughs> you don't remember any of it because you're so fucked up the I'm whole time. So, that you're I so was, drunk from yes. Yeah, too much rosé. Yeah. I uh, okay. <laughs> in um turkey right turkey i would say was probably the closest i've ever come to having a brat summer really yeah in that infinity pool thing that we went to we went to the beach club on a little boat yeah and then we climbed up and we went on there and then and there was that there was that um inflatable thing out in the sea yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. And you had to, you you could stick somebody on the end of it and then someone else yeah. would jump on it and they'd go shooting off into the sea. Do you remember that? It's not brat. Oh. It's not brat at all. I've oh. not understood it at all. Oh. Brat oh. is not wholesome. You don't do brat at if 60. If you've done, if you done, you've gone to the jetty out in the water and done a line of cocaine, yes, that but, would have been brat. Not well, a I'm nice little sorry. breaststroke. Out to the dinghy. That's not brat. Well then, you... fuck off, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, well then, I'm there. No, you are. There you go. I am not no. going to have ever done. Oh, okay. Oh. I tell you, when I had a brat summer <laughs> <laughs> many moons ago, right. and I was working in the south of France, and in those days, everybody was topless, and of me in particular, because I. I had quite a nice set. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You see, swiftly you on. don't want no, to hear about things like that. Let's carry on, let's carry on. And then, and then I had lunch with Benny Hill. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to put my top on to have lunch with Benny Hill. There that's you go. So that's bright. quite funny. Do, 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 do. No, that's not it. It's Sorry. that's so brat. That is quite that brat. Is quite brat that's like isn't the original it? brat. Yeah, 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 I was there before anyone wow. else. Yes, <laughs> sorry, <you> all. <laughs> wow. Yeah, 
Oh, no, you see, I'm racking my brains now to mm. think of something bratish I might have done. But if, if I told you anything bratish I'd done, you'd get all upset, you see, and you'd be no, going, but, oh, no. my God, no, don't say. Fair. Yeah, it Fine. is fair. Well, that's brat enough for me. Right, okay. Um, oh, is it time for the world's favourite? No, the no, nation's. not the world's. Don't yeah. be ridiculous. Get a bit for over myself sake. there, Soz. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> the nation's favourite game. The nation's favourite game. It yes. is two yes. lies and a truth. Hurrah. You know what the score is by now. I think I probably do, yeah. So Although I'm, I'm going to skip the whole intro. Because I can. Even Ooh, if Jack okay. asked me to say it, I'm going to ignore it. That's him. a bit bratty, isn't That's it? Brat. That's brat. That's so brat. So brat. Yeah. Could you say it for the new listeners? <laughs> oh, you see, producer Jack. <laughs> Before we take a break, mother. Yes. Let's play a classic game of two lies and the truth. I'm going to tell you three things. Yes. And you have to guess which is the truth. I'll give you the answer in part two. Are you ready? So good to me. A new travel trend called raw dogging flights. Oh, stop it. Has been going viral. But what does it involve? Oh, I don't want to know. A, where you attempt to endure the entire flight without any form of entertainment or distraction. Ah. B, where you offer condoms to random passengers heading to plane toilets. See where you try to smuggle in an entire jar of hot dogs and film yourself eating them all before you land. For goodness sake. Is the, what is the world what coming is to? What is the world coming to? Well, you have a think. Well, I jolly well will. And you will join, well, you will join us, oh listener and oh, viewer. Oh dear listener. In part two, we'll find out the answer. And for mum, can we talk? It's mummy's boy. Welcome back. Thank you. Very shortly, we'll be getting to your mum, can we talk correspondence. But before the break, I asked you, mum, yep. about this week's Two Lies and the Truth. Mm. Here's a reminder. Thanks. A new travel trend called raw dogging fight flights. Raw dogging. Raw, do- raw dogging flights has been going viral. But what does it involve? A, where you attempt to endure the entire flight without any form of entertainment or distraction. B, where you offer condoms to random passengers heading to the plane toilets. <laughs> C, where you try to smuggle in an entire jar of hot dogs and film yourself eating them all before you land. You're another bad run, remember? I do, I'm well aware of that. Thank you, Arthur. You didn't have to remind me. Yeah. Um, okay, so the first one about enduring, well, I can remember enduring flights with no entertainment because in the old days, you know, we had to read a book. That so counts. What, as entertainment? That, yeah. You can, no, it doesn't. Yes, it you does. can always take a book on with you, surely. No. Or that any form of entertainment or distraction. Oh. Right. Um, okay, so that's that one. Handing condoms out, for him's sake. I mean... What, just randomly? No, it's like you film the person going to the toilet and you're like... I really don't like it when you do that little wink. You it's started doing you. it. No, I realised that. It's meant for girls behind me at Bill's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like you got a bit of a tick. Um, I actually paid the kid to come up as well. Oh, yeah. Stop it! Oh. That was oh, that was what, that was my line, and that's why I was really happy with how smooth I was. Oh, so she said, "Oh my god, who are you?" So I was, I was like, "Don't worry, I paid him to do that just so you talk to me." Did you? I said that straight off the bat. I was like, god, "Did you?" I'm the Rizzler. That was brat Rizzler. That was brat. That was brat. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ooh, I'm. Mm. Okay, I'm getting into the brat thing now. Yeah. It's taken me a while. Um, I've never done it in an airplane toilet, have you? Oh, God. No, you see? You see? I can't say anything oh. to him. You see? I haven't said that. I, I never say anything it. sexual to I you, ever. I have to deal with... When, when have I just randomly these, blurted out, no, I've had sex in a... The no, plane I know, but I have to deal with all sorts of rude things. Well, it's... <sighs> okay, just I saying. haven't either. I haven't. Good. Because I, I, that would, I, the anxiety would be too much. Oh, that. awful. Yeah. No room. No. Anyway. Um, um, the so, Mile uh, High Club, is, is it called? That is the Mile mm. High Club. Uh, what was the other one? Um, oh, well, you I think to... it's the hot dogs. I think it's the hot dogs. I would not normally go for that. But really? I think, well, because of some of the ridiculous right. answers, well, that, these things. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, f- That's such an, obviously not that. Like, Why is it obviously you try not to that? Smuggle, like I that can is imagine people so doing ridiculous. that, you idiotic people these days, going on with a great load of hot dogs. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, is what it is? not that? 
No, it's where you attempt to endure the entire flight with any oh, form of entertainment or distraction. Stop it. Raw dogging a flight is a self-imposed challenge where you endure the entire journey without any form of entertainment or distraction. It means no music, no phone, no screen, no books, no magazines, no food, no water, and no sleep. Oh. But I actually will say you are allowed, there is a rule you are allowed to look at the, the flight journey. That's what okay. I've seen. I also don't believe any of it because none of them actually filmed them the entire time. They're just like, I just did this. Oh, so we think they're lying. Um, but yeah, there's some pretty crazy. Why do they call it raw hours. dogging? Like you're raw dogging it, you know, like you're, 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 you're you've got no, you've got no protection from, from the boredom. You and your thoughts, raw thoughts, right. no condom, just raw thoughts jizzing okay. everywhere. Stop it. With no protection. You see, and I'm supposed to put it up with that, am I? Thank you. I actually Arthur. had to raw dog it. Do I want to know this? No, no. On the on the, on the three peaks challenge, the 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 drive, because yes. I left my headphones in the boot and I didn't want to ask oh the driver to stop because oh, like it, um and yeah I had five hours and I couldn't sleep and I was like it was pitch black in the car and I was oh, like you're... this is like fighting my demons right now. Oh, well, you in between have asked. Georgia thing, I'm like, <sighs> well, were they asleep? Yeah. Or oh, were they? I was just thinking about all my regrets and everything. All your regrets? I thought about you and oh. the things I'd say if something bad happened. Oh. I didn't. Um, oh. Right. <laughs> Shall we move on? I have another wrong answer from you. I can't believe oh, you I thought can't, I have been off chowing it. down hot dogs. On, okay. well, yes, Where do you even buy it? Where would you, look, could you bring hot dogs through security? I didn't even think of that. I, that did, just, say, I did say smuggle. That was like. Oh, well, there you go. Yes. You see? It's true, smuggle. Okay, Gave fair me. enough. Fair enough. You've given her a Rough lifeline there. there. Mum. What? Can we talk? No, I'm in a bad mood now. Right. Well, oh, are we ready for some <laughs> mum can we talk correspondence? I thought it was like a bongo drum. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. You're, no. you're not ready, are you? But no, we're going to do it anyway. Are we? Question one, bloody hell, from long one from Lucy. Lucy Lasty. Lucy. Hi, the gorgeous Hill duo. Aww. I have a little conundrum, and I was Ooh. wondering if you could, gu if you guys could give me your opinions. Okay. I've been friends with a guy for 11 months. We met in our college class, but only started noticing him in a romantic way about four months ago after he broke up with his girlfriend and we started to work together on projects and talk a lot more. Mm. I realized quite soon that I fancied him, but I can't tell if he likes me back. Oh. I'll list some things that makes me think that he might. We've oh. texted each other. Until 4 a.m. a lot of nights. Mm -hmm. We have banter and are always joking. We play video games together almost every day. We have a lot of the same interests and get along really well. I see him in person the most. We text every day and a lot of the time he sends me a message first. I have a couple hobbies that he started to do because I do it. Aww. Learning French. Reading. Watching the same TV shows. We watched five hours straight of RuPaul Drag Race until 5 a.m. And he wanted to carry on. There was quite a lot of, of what I think was flirting that night, sitting as close as possible when on separate chairs, random touches and looking at me so happily. Aww. It's like a fan fiction. So do you think he might fancy me or just like talking and playing video games? Would love to know your <laughs> thoughts. Well, well, from that extensive list, I would say he does fancy you. Yeah. Yes. Um, well, he needs to get a bloody move. Yeah. On. He's, He's obviously slow. fancies you and has zero game. 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 Honestly. Oh, what? Like a plan of game. action? Game. Game. Come on. Game. He has no game. No, obviously. I've never Not heard a plan of action. No, you just, when you have no game. You know, I, you know, I had game with the girl the other, yesterday oh, because I did. said that good line, but I didn't plan it. It's not, game isn't oh, okay. like a plan. No. But like when a guy's got good game, it's like when he's, when he's, when he's just, good at talking to women right Oof. and that's you well yesterday it was well, yesterday it was okay yeah <laughs> get that clear mm. right no well he of this chap obviously hasn't got good game no but he does like you yeah random definitely. touches gazing at you adoring gazing you at from you the so other happily. chair but he needs to get and also just staying up and watching rupaul drag race um, that is a little bit concerning i have to say why do you say that i uh i just uh, <laughs> um I just don't like, personally, I don't like it. There we are. Said it. Wow. Oops. What about it don't you like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, really. I just, wow. I Seems don't really like get it. like you don't it. like things that are for the girls and the gays. Yes, I do. Don't look at me like that. 
Don't look up at me, me like. Oh. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's if you see him in person the most. I mean, yeah, he definitely likes yeah, you. Yeah, go on, um, go for it. Give him a snog. Yeah, get in. Give there. him a snog. Initiate. Initiate. Initiate, Lucy. Yes. Be brave. Go loose. The only thing, maybe he could be gay, but that. Well, that, that is that. That's the only. No, he had a girlfriend. Oh yes, he did at the beginning. He's not gay. He definitely fancies you. Make the move. Yeah, that's my advice and mine. There you are. I Push look forward to hearing about your smooch. Oh, P.S. Oh. Arthur, do a gig in Norwich, and I'll bring him along. Ah, somebody I've else asked you to go to yeah. Norwich. All two people in Norwich want two me to go there. Two people in Norwich. Okay, question two from Anon. Uh, ah. Hi, Lisa and Arthur. I'm a primary school teacher ah. uh, teaching year six, so 10 to 11-year-olds, and we was talking about what they what they want to be when they are older. Ah. I hope you don't teach English, Anon. Stop it, Arthur. <laughs> um, when they are older. <laughs> and one of the girls said that they are going to be Arthur Hill's wife and oh. then added, don't worry, sir, you're... You're too old to know him. Rude. Oh. My question oh. to all of you, who was your celebrity crush when you were younger? Oh. Well, that's cute. Oh, that's very cute. Going to be Arthur, Arthur Hill's, Hill's wife. wife. I didn't know 10 to 11 year olds watched me. Well, no, and they shouldn't. It's far too rude. No. That's grotesque. Don't have a brat summer if you're 10 to 11. No. They should be watching <laughs> story time with Auntie Lily. Yes. Well, yeah, well, you gave up on that. So. I did, but I suddenly thought about it the other day mm. and I thought maybe I should be... Maybe, maybe... Maybe I should be sending Maybe some of our younger Jack listeners. Can, can, you can team up on. I did mention story it to producer time Jack, our, yeah. but I haven't got a big enough presence. Fair. Well, Fair that's enough. your fault because you've posted once. Have a look at Auntie Lily's story time. Not shameless old, plug. Shameless. Um, shameless plug. Who was anyway. your celebrity crush when you were younger? Oh, I'm Jennifer Aniston in Friends. Oh, really? My God. God, everybody loved her. I watched her. it yesterday, actually. And did I was, you? Like, still just fancy the pants off her. Really? Yeah. I wonder why. I do. don't know. Aura. Yeah. Plus, or, it she's is got aura, aura points. Isn't it? Plus 1,000 aura. Yeah. Who's yours? Richard Harris. Richard Harris. Nobody's going to know no who he is. Know who that I is. think I've mentioned him before. Um, also, part, Bugs you know. Bunny. No, not Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Bugs Bunny? What's the matter with you? <laughs> Who's the female bunny? Jessica Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit, not Bugs Bunny. <laughs> God. <laughs> Jessica happen. Rabbit for some reason. Really? Although a cartoon and a rabbit. Yeah. Something it's about her. a little her. bit worrying. Something about her. Okay. Mm. Who else? Richard Harris was... Yul Brynner. I had a bit of a thing about Winston Yul Brynner. Winston Churchill. Not Winston no. Churchill. He didn't do it for me. Um, there must have been somebody a little bit more obvious that everyone would know, apart from Johnny Depp. Oh, God, I saw him on Instagram the other day talking about Trump. Oh and although I did agree with what he said about Trump, he doesn't look very good now, Johnny Depp. No. Sorry, Johnny, and Sorry, that's really Johnny. mean. But Trump, however, looked but, great. Oh, God, he was so beautiful. Oh, In Chocola. Yep, very yep, good yep, film. Yep, yep, yep. Really good film. Um, Actually, what's the plot? Arthur. What, what happens in it? It doesn't matter, does oh, it? Oh, no. But it's a lovely film. Question three from Lily. Hey, guys. Yeah. Lily here. Yeah. So I, 15 have two brothers, 13 and 8, who mm. share a room with each other. Recently, it's become a little duo, act duo activity for them to go through my things whilst I'm working. Oh and it's really starting to get irritating. Yes. They found so many things that I really didn't want to share with anyone, oh. let alone my siblings. They, they will not stop. Any advice what I should do? Oh, get a box with get a, a lock. Get a, yeah, get a key Put it under your bed. Get a safe. Yeah, no, and they get, shouldn't be get doing that. mum or dad to shout at them. Yes. No, no, you need to find, you've got to have your safe space for things, yeah. you know, like diaries and, oh, do people do diaries? No, I suppose they don't, do they? Do you, I don't have to tell diary my diary anymore? story on here. I think I did. I don't know. I started a diary very briefly when I was very sad. Did last, you? A year ago. Oh, a year, don't say a year that. and a bit ago. Did you? Yes. Apparently it was going to help me out of my rut. My oh. depressive rut. Did it? That was a long time. And then I wrote the most, like, <laughs> gut wrenchingly sad page. <laughs> like, I was like, it was like one of the worst days. I was just like, oh, I just don't think I can, you know, not suicidal, but just like, God, this is, I fucking hate everything. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. And I accidentally left it because, mm. and I also couldn't be cringy enough to like write Dear Diary. So I called it no. Dear Dickhead. So every time I'd write Dear Dickhead, okay, that's nice. and I left it on the kitchen table on that page. 
Oh. And my flatmate thought he, I was just saying like a note, like dear dickhead. Oh no. <laughs> and he just read the most personal oh, no. <laughs> thing. And I was like, oh my God. I never wrote it again. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, well. Dear dickhead was no more. I used to love writing a diary. I've got diaries for many, many, when? many years. Oh, from when I when was When did about... I ask? <laughs> what? Sorry, carry on. No. Why did you stop? I think I was about 16 when I stopped. Oh, oh wow. Okay, question four from Anon. Hello, Arthur and Mummy Hill. I'm a mid-twenties woman working a full-time seven-to-five job. Bloody hell. Oh, Over nine-to-five. Gosh. That's and I'm finding it difficult to find love. Nowadays, everyone uses dating apps, but the moment someone on Hinge asks to go on a date with me, I automatically assume they're going to catfish me, so I say no. Yes, even if they're verified. I only really leave the house to go on weekend adventures to nearby cafes or go to work, and I'm slowly losing hope on a meet queue ever occurring. Oh. Go to Bill's. All of my friends are engaged or in happy long-term relationships and know no one who is single. So a date with oh. a mutual friend is also off the cards. That's crazy. Oh. Sure, they must be How someone. How old did she say she was? Oh, mid-20s. Mid okay. I haven't been in a relationship in my adult life and I feel like I'm slowly but surely losing the chance to find love. I'm living alone with my cat and feel like I've accomplished nothing oh. in the dating world. Any words of advice or encouragement? No, I probably still won't accept those hinge dates. Thank you for your time and wishing you a wonderful day. A worried and lonely anon. Oh, goodness. That's really sad. Well, first of all, mid 20s. Mid 20s. I know lots of mid 20s. I'm mid 20s. He's mid 20s. He hasn't and got And I haven't anyone. got a fucking Scooby. I've also not had a girlfriend in my adult life. No. Um, and oh. I am also losing hope. I have no advice. What's cat? I have oh, no that's advice. Hopeless. I'm on. What's at least you've got a cat. I haven't got anything. <laughs> I've got it? nothing to stroke. <laughs> ever. <laughs> that's. <laughs> not helpful uh, what's catfishing cat oh come on i mean that's really catfishing is when you get catfished no <laughs> when you get catfished when you so you turn up on a date that you've agreed on hinge or online or whatever yeah and they don't look like their pictures oh you i know, see they're, they're either maybe perhaps a little plumper right or or they've got an eye patch <laughs> or three heads Three heads. Mm. Or the pictures showing them to be a lot younger than they yeah. are. Yeah, 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 I'm sure. Yeah. Oh. Um, I don't know which is, I guess, a real fear, but... I, I, it, I'd still go. I think yeah, if they're verified and... I mean, she said she's probably not going to accept the hinge date, so maybe we don't mm. push on this. But yeah, I would maybe be... A, maybe just give it a go. Maybe you could... If you've got some interests um, that you could join a club, mm -hmm. like if there's a sporting thing that you might like... Um, where you might meet people or I think holiday sort of... is a great time. Yeah, but if she's on her own, True. she's not going to want to go on her own, is she? She's got friends. I know, but they're all in couples. True. So um, it does make it difficult. And I do think meet cute, if you're, if you're not thinking about it, it does happen. Meet cute. Because I was also like, it never happens anymore. But I seem to be having a few as of late. Yeah. Um, but it's hard, isn't it? I don't know where you go to meet people these days. Because it is all online, which just yeah. seems rubbish to me. Um, there must be. But at the end of the day, you've got loads of time. You have got loads of time. But um, I can imagine how she feels. Me too. I feel you, Anon. And we'll get out of this. Yeah, you will. Oh. Anon Hill has a nice ring to it. Maybe we can <laughs> get together. Get together. I wouldn't mind a cat. You like a cat, don't you? Not really. Yes, you do. You used I'd to rather love a dog. Our cat. Depends oh. the type of cat. If they're a scratchy little fucker. Yeah, well, then Arthur, I don't want them. You wouldn't be able to look after a dog. I could. Oh if my, I put my god! If I put, you have never walked our dogs because I'm you do. Hand, because you do on one hand. Because you do. Time. Oh, yeah. Ovs. Like if I had like, to do it, I would do it. Obviously. Would you? No, you yes, wouldn't. I would. I definitely. I would not. No, knowing what a dog needs, I would. I would give it what the. I would give it. It's, I would need. <laughs> I would give <laughs> the dog what it requires. Would you? In every sense of the word, yeah. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> a little bit strange. I don't know why I said the every sense of the word. There's no, one I sense did, yeah, that yeah. I meant there, and that's all that it's um, that's needed. Having okay. said that, after the Bugs Bunny thing, I want to point out. Yeah, can we just? There is no. You know, I do not. I'm not into bestiality. No. I tried it and it's not for me. <laughs> That's a joke as well. Yes. I've never... I, yes. Okay, stop. Look, yeah, yeah. No, 
I would love to look after Martha for the weekend. Would you? Genuinely, yes. Okay. And yeah, I could definitely look after a dog if I put my mind to it because you can do anything you put your mind to is what you taught okay, me. Okay, well, I think we might try and set that up then. Yeah. Daddy and I could have Fine. a nice weekend away and you could come and stay Fine. and look after the dog. Fine. Okay. Fine. Watch this that. space. Yeah. Mm. There'll be no drama because it'll just be the other weekend. She'll probably have a better weekend. Oh, really? Because of all the, oh, I was going to say the neck kisses, but they're, they're not, they're not oh, weird. Oh, yeah, the neck they're not kisses. Weird. They're not weird. She does love weird. a neck kiss from Arthur. God. She does get a bit, she does, mm. Stop, yeah. stop, 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 stop. <laughs> um, well, what a, what a great end. A great Might end. I just tarnished my, I'm going to get cancelled. But um, goodbye, mum. Oh, bye. But oh, I've, there's so much more to talk about that we haven't talked about. We'll have to do it next time. Well, like what? That's your know. fault. Why well, is it my fault? Well, you haven't spoken about it. You had a whole time to speak Never. about it. All right. Oh, God. God. Uh, Always remember, new episodes drop every Wednesday and Sunday. And you think we haven't got enough to talk about? No, all right. Too t so many chances. All right. And you're just yapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for my mum to read, slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or give me a message on WhatsApp on 07822 01387. Oh, oh, hey, there's the wing. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her. And it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's mommy's boy.